I hope you brought an extra pair of underwear for today's video because we're about to get real spooky. Oh look, my cat's even wanting out of here. He's a scaredy cat. Because what I'm about to talk about is a super criminally underrated horror TV show called From. I absolutely love this show. I have watched every single episode the week it releases since the first episode came out back at the beginning of 2022. I absolutely love this show and I have seen nobody talk about it. So to start, I'm just going to give you a general idea, the spark notes of what it's actually about. There is this place that exists. It's kind of like a Twilight Zone kind of thing. It's like in its own pocket dimension. Once you come in, you can't get out. It's like a Chinese finger trap. And everyone gets there the same exact way. They encounter a fallen tree on the road. They try to go around it and then circle back. And they end up going through the same town, like seeing the same things over and over again. Kind of like that YouTube video, No Through Road. They keep going straight down a road, but somehow they're going in a circle which shouldn't be possible. But that's not the only supernatural elements of this TV show. Once not time rolls around, that's when the monsters come about. And the way the monsters are done are great. They're not just like these cryptids you see stalking through the, the, the night time going, Ooh, I'm gonna eat me some humans! No, they're actually very scary because they're human. They look human. And they got this uncanny valley feel and actions that they do that just it takes it to another level of creepy I, I just can't state how much i love this show you really need to watch it to get the experience these monsters they're kind of similar to like the stories of black-eyed children if you know anything about that from like the cryptid lore they'll come up to a door if you're inside because they can't come in if you have a talisman on the door they they can't break in they also only walk they're like michael myers they don't sprint at you they're not super aggressive. They try to be friendly and lure you out of a building or lure you out of your safe space during the nighttime because that's the only way they can get to you. And there's actually a great example of this in the season one trailer that I'm gonna show you now. I've missed you so much. Megan, what are you doing? Maybe I can come in. Megan! This is what happens when you break the rules. So right there you saw what happens. The monster took on the appearance of this innocent looking grandmother asking if it could come in because it was cold, appealing to your, to your human senses of wanting to help someone in need. But when you do open the window and try to help them, your, your blood and body just gets spattered all around the room. You get destroyed. And just to top off how horrific these creatures are, if they do get in, good luck fighting them off. Bullets don't do anything. They're basically invulnerable to damage that humans can inflict on them. Pretty much like you're trying to fight Superman without any kryptonite. And I don't think these things do have a weakness like that. So you're just, you're unmatched. You're not going to be able to beat them in combat. You have to hide. It's your only chance of survival is to cower in fear inside of a safe place during the night time. And while I'm already on the topic of talking about these creatures, I want to show you my favorite one. He pops up in season two, and it's probably my favorite moment in the entire show now, but I, I like to call him the smiley creature because he's the one that has a very creepy smile. I think this dude could do a very good Joker cosplay. There is no way out. Oh, thank God we heard the screaming. You picked a bad spot. The trailer really doesn't do the moment justice because when I was watching this episode earlier, it, it was so good. I don't know, his acting, honestly, the acting really sold it. He plays an uncanny, like, something trying to act human that's not actually human so good. And his smile, I don't know if they, like, did, like, uh, CGI to make it even wider or whatever, but it's so good. It looks good, it makes you creeped out, it gets under your skin, and it, you just don't like it. And that's so good in a show that's meant to make you feel uncomfortable. It's so good. And now I don't want to get into spoiler territory or talk about anything that really happens from like a plot perspective, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep this... And I'm going to keep this spoiler free, I forgot to say that at the beginning. I'm not going to be talking about any plot points, I don't want to ruin the party for anybody, because I'm sure you probably haven't heard of this show, because I just found it randomly, completely by chance, while I was looking through TV shows to watch. Because I don't see this thing being promoted anywhere, as a matter of fact, talked about by anybody, 
And I think it's really just an amazing hidden gem that needs a lot more attention so it can continue running. Because if this thing gets flushed down the toilet after season two, I'm going to write a very strongly worded letter in like a ransom style. I'm going to cut out newspaper clippings and make it seem really threatening, but I'm not going to threaten them or anything. I'm going to send it to Epix and tell them they better uncancel this show because it's it didn't deserve that. It's only ramping up and getting better and better with each passing episode, and this new season takes it to a whole new height. The stakes are higher. Everything is just better. And a special shout out for the smiley creature dude actor. His name is apparently Jamie McGuire. I had to search for like 20 minutes to find that out. But I, I think this dude is a phenomenal... He's really good at playing a fake human creature. I'll tell you that much. He's very good at being creepy. If I ever had a mortal enemy that I wanted someone to stalk them and just like stand creepily at a distance and smile at them and really freak them out... I would hire this dude. No price would be too high because this dude could creep anybody out. He would creep Batman out. He is the creepiest dude to ever exist, and I mean that in a great way. But now I'm done talking about the show to avoid as much spoilers as possible, like I said. I do want to mention one more thing before I end this video, though, and that's the theme, the intro song for this show. They remastered and redid a song called K Sera Sera. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, the original kind of sucks, but the one that they use in the show is really good. I really like it. I listen, this is the only show that I listen to the whole intro every single time because the song, it's like an earworm. It's so good. Kiss her, eyes, her eyes. Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Now, I don't know how much of that I can actually show you because I'm sure it's going to get DMCA'd or whatever. I think if you're looking for a horror show that's original, hasn't done something you've seen, recycled, human centipeded 30 times by many different people, this is it. It's something fresh. It's a breath of fresh air in the stinky world that is horror TV shows and just horror media in general. All that's being pushed out recently is a bunch of just stinky farts, but this... This is actually good, and I will stand on that recommendation forever. And if you somehow don't enjoy this show, go ahead and write in the comments, tell me how wrong I was and how this recommendation was horrible, and I'll be sure not to respond. I'll probably just delete your comment and block you because I'm very insecure. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to make this video to maybe bring a handful more viewers to this television show that definitely deserves more attention, because whatever views it's getting now, it deserves at least 10 times that because it's actually good and you can tell they put care into making this. I believe it's made by like the executive producers of Lost or something. I haven't watched that show, but everyone says they really like it. So, you know, they got some great minds behind this. But regardless, I'd give this show a solid 9.5 out of 10 because in my eyes, nothing's really perfect, but this is about as close as you can get.